Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Hopefully, you all will be fine. Let's start today. The advisor to the Prime Minister says we received requests from countries from three continents to do business. Did we ever see that before? No, we have never seen it before. Article. The President of the Republic. Iraq is on the verge of an urban renaissance after approving the budget. So, first of all, yours truly was awakened at 7.02 this morning, Tuesday. I was given some information that led me to believe I might just get something delivered, which would have the toll-free numbers. Now, I don't know when I'm going to get delivery, but I know it's pretty quickly here pretty soon. In order for the dinar to go up in value, several things must be done first. They must pass over a 100 stalled laws that affect their economy. These laws have been outstanding for several years. Iraq must encourage foreign investment to diversify away from oil dependence. Currently, they are well over 90% dependent on oil production and export. Diversification in creating a private sector will allow the government to transfer the workforce from state to the private sector. Creating such a private sector will allow them to not only begin to diversify away from oil and create their own manufacturing, tourism, agriculture, etc. They can begin to export goods so they are not dependent on imports. As a result of that success and growth, Iraqs will create pressure internally on their own financial system, often known as inflation. The result will allow the central bank to float their currency. The result will allow supply and demand to raise the value. Question. What are your redemption contacts saying about timing? Mark's answer. They are not. As of yesterday morning, I have been unable to reach them. Two contacts in two states have me hitting a brick wall. Personally, I think it's great news that I cannot reach them. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.